Hello, and welcome to another episode of A Few Minutes with Marvin. I am Marvin, and I inspire those who aspire to make positive changes in their lives. And in this video, I want to touch on the importance of grounding yourself. So if you like the contents of this video, please hit the like button, share, subscribe, leave a comment. I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, grounding, uh, for those who aren't familiar with the grounding, is the practice of walking barefoot in nature. Whether it be on a rock like I am now, in ground, in dirt, in soil, um, anywhere where you have a direct connection to uh, the earth, Mother Nature. Um, back, way back when electricity was being um, invented, they found that uh, they had to ground the wires going into the homes in order to prevent, um, you know, to get your electrons and neutrons and your positive and your negatives, um, which eliminated the, the fires. There were, you know, when uh, Nikola Tesla and Thomas Edison were going around putting their AC and their DC currents into, into you know, motion, there were a lot of fires. Uh, you may not know that. You check the history books. There, there were quite a few fires that, that these gentlemen created while they were inventing uh, electricity. Um, and grounding was one of the things that, that's, that helped bring electrical current uh, to neutrality the way uh, we know it now. So in that same vein, um, a lot of people and scientists mostly have learned that um, humans need to be grounded as well. And um, we've gotten away from that and the importance of that. Uh, we were meant to be connected to the earth. Um, grounding ourselves prevents things like inflammation. Inflammation leads to a lot of the diseases we have now, heart attacks, you know, coronary um, arteries and, and you know, things of that nature. You know, look at any disease pretty much is caused by an inflammation. Now, I'm not saying that grounding is going to cure, you know, any disease you may have related to inflammation, psoriasis or anything like that. But um, I'm suggesting that, you know, maybe because we started wearing rubber, rubber soled sh sh shoes and, and not walking barefoot in nature, that may have led to some of the, the, the crops of diseases that have come over the centuries uh, since the invention of shoes and, and other types of article, clothing articles that don't allow our bodies to do what they're naturally meant to do, and that's to be connected to nature, grounded naturally. There's a current that goes from us into the ground. Um, you may or may not feel it, but try it. Go around your yard and, you know, you know how you feel when you're barefoot in a, in a freshly mowed lawn. It feels amazing. You just want to, you know, crunch your toes in it. And uh, children love being outdoors and, and barefoot. And um, unfortunately, again, uh, it doesn't get done enough. Um, and it really is a, a health benefit. Um, there are a lot of studies out there um, that, that found, you know, positive uh, results from grounding yourself and grounding your children. You know, even full body grounding, you know, laying down in the grass, the benefits of that. Um, I watched a movie called The Earthing Movie. It's a documentary and in it um, a special education teacher found a correlation between grounding and calming autistic children. Not healing, but calming them. You know, where the child would go outside and naturally just sit. And, and those moments were some of the calmest moments that child who's normally, you know, their autism, you know, takes over and, and really, you know, they don't have any control of it. But in those moments when they're, they're sitting on the ground, they're, they're grounded and, you know, there's a noticeable change in their behavior. They're just calm. So take that for, for how it resonates with you, but um, grounding is just part of nature. It's part of who we are. We are part of this world. We're, we're all one, as I keep you know, alluding to, that we're all one energy field. Um, so it just makes sense that grounding would really be a necessity for human beings. 
um, in our own evolution, although we've evolved <clears throat> and gotten away from it, that was not the intention um, of how we were created. We were always we were always meant to be connected to to nature, to earth, um, and we've gotten away from that. And uh, I think, especially in these times that we're living now, I think it doesn't you know cost you a dime to go and take your shoes off and walk in your yard or go to a park and take your shoes off. Who cares if the bugs crawl on your legs? You know, the benefits of that far outweigh any fear you may have of a mosquito bite or, or an ant crawling on your legs. So, you know, think about it in that respect. Right now I have bugs crawling all over me. Um, you know, and the natural inclination is to swat it off. And, you know, I'm trying to get more in tune with nature and not allow myself to do that because they're not harming me, I'm not harming them, and I don't want to harm them. They're just doing what they naturally do. So should we. We were naturally born to be connected to the earth. So I strongly urge you to get back to nature. I have a separate video on it, you know, on hugging trees and all that, and there's a lot to be said for hugging trees too. You know, just Google it. Um, and if you're really serious about really communing with yourself and getting back to being whole, whole and complete. Being a part of nature is part of that process and the health and mental benefits that you'll derive from it, it's, it's priceless. It's priceless. You can't put a price on it. So take my advice. Don't take my advice. It's fine. I just felt the need to you know, allow you to, to know that life can be so much simpler and we, can, we have so many re rewards we can reap. It doesn't have to be monetary. It's physical. It's mental. Emotional. Those should be more important to you than any, you know, luxury car you want to buy or $200 pair of shoes. Invest that money in yourself by grounding in nature. Buying yourself a nice little pad to sit on and put your feet in the water or in a lake or a pond or something <clears throat> and hug a tree. Why not? So have a good time in nature. The benefits far outweigh anything else that uh, social media or, or television can bring you. So enjoy, uh, enjoy yourself in nature, my friends, and uh, have an amazing day.